This is the plaintiff, Christine Adams Charette. She says she was driving her brand spanking new 2017 Mitsubishi Mirage down a two-way street and the crazy defendant made a left turn directly in front of her and she hit him in the rear, which caused him to crash into a BMW. Her beautiful brand new car was totaled. The defendant was found to be 100% at fault and she's out $5,000 because the defendant only had 10 grand worth of insurance on his policy. She just wants to be made whole on this nightmare and is suing the defendant for the $5,000 she's still out. This is the defendant Roy Vargas. He says he was driving home from his mom's grave and made a left-hand turn and was hit from behind by the plaintiff. She was going around 80 miles an hour in a 35 zone and he's lucky to be alive. The plaintiff, it turns out, is a greedy, trashy person who's trying to cash in because she didn't have adequate insurance. Sorry, lady. This has already been sorted out by the insurance companies and he owes nothing. He's accused of not paying attention behind the wheel. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket. The plaintiff says the defendant cut in front of her and messed up her Mitsubishi Mirage. But the defendant says the plaintiff hit him from behind and she was speeding. It's the case of you, little Mitsubishi. Christine Adams Charette. Yes. You are suing Roy Vargas for $5,000 in damage to your vehicle caused by an accident that you say was his fault. Tell me what happened. Um, on July 20th, um, I was on my way to the post office and I was traveling north on Whittier Road and Mr. Vargas turned out in front of me without any indication that he was going to while I was already in the intersection. Um, insurance paid me, it totaled my brand new car. So uh, everybody was going full speed, nobody was braking? I, I, yes, because I was driving straight into the road doing the speed limit and he cut out over in front of me. I have a diagram. Had hit the front of his car hit the back of your car? No. He went into the intersection in front of me, so So we you ended hit up this hitting way. him, but yes. you had the right of way. Yes, I actually okay. have a letter from the insurance company stating that I was found not at fault and that Mr. Vargas was found 100% at fault. Okay. Um, and what's your version of how the accident happened? I was driving home. I put my blinker on and made the left turn. I was already out of the intersection. She hit the back of my car. She right, me. but what right do you have to make a left in front of oncoming traffic? She has a right of way. You're she not was no, she, there was no light. She was way, way down speeding, but I didn't know she was speeding at the time until she hit me. So, wait, wait, so she was, how fast was she going? Um, more than the speed limit, 35. I would say 70 by the damage on my if car. If you see a car going 70 miles an hour, why do you make a left turn in front she of She was way down by the deli. So you see her and you still made the left turn? Yeah, I had a, enough time, I thought. It looks like you didn't. Yeah. And did anybody else conclude that she was going 70 miles an hour? I don't know. The cops? There, there was another car accident, so only one cop stayed after they told us we were all okay. So the fire department, everybody left. My just question was, cop. did you get a ticket? No. Okay. Uh, your insurance company found you at fault and paid, right? Yes. Uh, your insurance company, that, and when you said you had a letter from the insurance company, you're referring to his insurance company. Um, it's from my insurance. It says that Miss uh, Christine Adams Charette was involved in an accident. She was found not at fault for the accident. Claimant Vargas was found at fault for the accident. By and whom? Your insurance company. Geico accepted 100% for the accident. Meaning that's the that's other his. company. Correct. That's my insurance. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so now how much were you paid by his insurance company? Um, Every check that I received is from my insurance company, so I... You never got paid by his... By Geico, no. Did you have insurance? I do. The, the claim is still open. They said they're waiting for paperwork. Or did you go through... I went through my insurance. Oh, I see. So, so, I have so the you subrogated to... What's your insurance? Progressive. So Progressive will sue Geico or collect... They won't have to sue. Geico will just take responsibility mm -hmm. and then reimburse Progressive for the money. That's I, how you chose to do it. All right, so what are you suing for here? So I bought the car for $17,945.06. I was paid out by insurance for $12,775.39, and that leaves a $5,169.67 balance. So I'm suing for the maximum of $5,000 to make myself because, whole again. Because your insurance company only gave you the value of the car at the time of the crash as opposed to the value that you paid for the car how many months before? Um, I only had it for 62 days. So if the insurance company says that um, 
so-and-so is at fault, the plaintiff or the defendant, is the judge bound to follow what the insurance company says? No, he's not. Why? Because the judge can overrule the insurance company based on information at hand that the insurance company is, is following because... Do me a favor, just say, no, she's not. <laughs> no, she's not. Yeah, because you'll piss off the judge going inside the courtroom. Have you ever heard the expression that as soon as you drive off the lot, uh, the car depreciates in value? That's exactly what your insurance company um, had a right to do. And that's what they sue Geico for. And that's what his insurance company has to pay. In addition to the down payment, the money that was left over, I also had to put $1,500 down on a new car. And well, that you never get. I mean, um, you get what you get is the value of the loss. It stinks. I know. Because you're not at fault in this accident. You have a car for two months. This is just awful. But um, what you're entitled to in the eyes of the law is the value of the item at the time that it's destroyed. And the blue book value in a private party sale in excellent condition, all of which I'm assuming is 10 grand. And your, company, your um, insurance company gave you 12 grand. They gave me 10,000 and then they reimbursed me my deductible. So it equal 12. So my job is to sit here and figure out whether you're entitled to more than that. And I if you are, then he's the guy who has to pay it. I just feel like it was his negligence. Oh, just, I totally feel like it was his negligence. I mean, did you have to rent a car? Um, no, because we had, did not have coverage, so I had to struggle trying to find rides to and from work and inconvenience others. And I mean, I had my two-year-old da daughter in the car. Luckily, nobody was hurt, but it was just not a good situation. No, no. The third vehicle actually asked him and said, you didn't see her coming. What, wait, there was a third vehicle? There what was. He, after he hit me, well, after he caused right. me to hit him, he hit into the BMW. And the BMW driver actually asked him, like, you didn't see her coming? Like, she was, she was right there. And his response was, oh, no, I was actually admiring your BMW. Did you say that to the BMW driver? What? No, I just told me I had a nice car. I didn't say that. But that, that was a direct quote. A call. little stretch over there. She actually hit me say? so hard that my car slid across the whole highway and hit his car. That's and what happened. Did you say to him, I didn't see her because I was admiring your car? No, he never even spoke to me. Neither did she. All she got out of her car was said, oh, are you okay? I'm so sorry. What, you, End of are conversation. you mocking her? No, I'm telling you, that's all she said to me. Oh, are you okay? What was it? Yeah. Were you mocking her? Because you caused this whole grief for everybody. No, I didn't cause anyway, it. I think, yes, you did. We yes, the accident that. was your fault. You caused the grief. Okay. Yes. Your own insurance company threw you under the bus, okay? So yes, it's your fault. Pay attention, don't make a left if there's oncoming traffic. So yes, it's your fault. You have inconvenienced and cost her tons of money. And by, through a technicality, really, um, not really a technicality, but through because of the way the law's interpreted, you know, she, she's gonna end up eating so much money that you're mocking her in my courtroom? You're doing that? I'm not mocking her, but I don't see what? Did she not have gap insurance? Because in New York, I thought gap insurance was required. Is gap insurance required no. in New York State, folks? I thought gap insurance was something. You, it's interesting. He got gap insurance. You're only going to get 10 grand. But he wants to make sure his damages are covered so he gets gap insurance. Right. Uh, no, she doesn't have to get gap insurance. You got 10000 $10,775.39 plus the deductible return. Oh, so you, okay. Sometimes life is unfair. You got what you were supposed to get. And if you got what you were supposed to get, just because he annoys me, I can't make him pay you more. <laughs> Verdict for the defendant. Well... The plaintiff did not have a good day here. How do you feel? Um, I just feel like I should have been made whole again. I should have been entitled for what I paid for the car. I only had it for 62 days, and the accident clearly was not my fault. Well, boy, the judge sure did feel for you. Definitely. I mean, no question about it. Very unfair, she thought. Mm -hmm. But that's the law. Yep. And you got to live there. All right. I'm so All sorry right. for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here comes a defendant now, even though the judge kind of threw you under the bench okay. there, you're, you're happy. Yeah, why not? I, didn't, I won, so yeah. I don't have to pay on that. She doesn't deserve anything. She, she really should get something, though. Don't you feel for her? No, I don't. Not at all? Not at it all. was your fault, and you don't feel sorry for well, her? It, it's still, you know, it's my word versus hers. I still feel like, well, well. That's just terrible. That's terrible. I know I'm a terrible person. You are. Okay. No. Thank you. How about that, Harvey? What do you think? 
you should know that the insurance company's decision on who's at fault has absolutely no bearing on the judge. Judges can make a decision regardless of what the insurance company says and by the way, regardless of what the police report says.